And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Scattered cloud cover throughout the viewing area, but thank goodness the snow has moved on. We did see anywhere between a tenth of an inch to about a half an inch of snowfall come down across Tippecanoe County and other parts across the viewing area late last night, early this morning. As a result, those roads are a bit on the slick side. We've had a few reports of slide offs on I-65 and even the roads locally here in Lafayette a bit on the slick side, sl slick side as well. Uh, so please remember to travel safely over the next couple of hours. As of right now, we are dealing with mainly clear skies, and that has allowed the temperatures throughout the viewing area to plummet. We're at 18 in Rossville. It's 19 right now. Crawfordsville, 18 degrees. Stepping out the door in Crawfordsville. Kokomo, 18 as well. 8 degrees. Your wind chill in Kokomo. Same in Fowler, 13 in Crawfordsville. Stepping out the door this morning. The wind chill here in Lafayette, just as dawn is getting underway, 7 degrees. So please remember to travel safely and bundle up out there because it is downright frigid right now with that temperature of 17 in Lafayette. Winds are from the west right now, 8 miles per hour. That will continue to pull a lot of that moisture off of Lake Michigan further off for the northeastern part of the state. Here at home, we should be staying mainly dry, mainly clear throughout the day. A few light clouds are a possibility, but all in all, we're looking at a much nicer day today than it was yesterday. Still a bit breezy with winds gusting as high as 10 to 15 miles per hour with those mostly sunny skies, but all together at least, We'll be finally seeing those 30s once again this afternoon. 31 degrees. Your afternoon high temperature in West Lafayette will hit 32. Delphi right around 31 as well in Chalmers. But overnight tonight, clear conditions lead to another frigid evening ahead. 19 in Delphi, 20 degrees. Peru right around 21. Rochester. We see the 20s in the upper teens for the northeastern portion of the viewing area as those winds shift northward to northwestward tonight and begin to pull more of that moisture off of Lake Michigan. So a little bit more cloud cover for our northeastern counties, keeping temperatures a bit more mild overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Now notice all this cloud cover off to our west. We start off Saturday with mainly clear skies, but the cloud cover rolls right back in. That's ahead of our next round of low pressure and our next chance of snowfall. Notice all the blue off to the west of us. We could be dealing with an additional half an inch to an inch and a half of snowfall by Sunday afternoon. It looks like the timetable for the system moving in late Saturday night, continuing into early Sunday morning, possibly even the latter part of Sunday morning. Thereafter, we dry out very nicely, but up until that point, we're talking temperatures right around the freezing mark. Once again, 33 degrees or high temperature in Lafayette. Same in Crawfordsville for tomorrow. We warm back up to around 34 on Sunday, Sunday getting a little bit of a break from the snowfall late Sunday into early Monday. Then by Monday afternoon, another chance of snow, this time coming from a low pressure system that will be traveling up the Ohio River Valley. Now that may supply us with some light snow showers for our far southern counties. The majority of us should be staying dry on Monday and Tuesday, but look at those temperatures plummeting 26 degrees your afternoon high. Monday, Tuesday, we're back down to 24, but thank goodness we warmed up to 32 on Wednesday. And look at that on Thursday, Krista Alex. 41 degrees. When was the last time you were so excited to see the 40s make a return to the region? I don't know, but you know, I have to say these cold temperatures and snow really crept up on us this year. They really did. You know, it's coming much earlier than normal. Uh, you know, uh, temperatures for this time of the year are supposed to be right around those mid to low 50s. We're dealing with temperatures in the 30s, the 20s, and even the teens during the overnight hours. So frigid conditions per consist or continue for at least a next the next week or so. We begin the warm-up latter part of next week. We start seeing the 40s, the 50s, and maybe even those 60s make a return to the region. All right, Cam, thanks very much. Yeah.